in episode 83, you explain the difference between Noodler's Black and Black Eel, which is lubricated, so you can check that one out on episode 83. Do you know what is different in X Feather? Thank you. You're welcome, Roberto. So X Feather um, is another Noodler's Ink. It's very similar to Black and to Black Eel. Uh, the main difference is going to be with that one. It's it's a dark black, very dark. Um, the main difference is it's a little bit thicker. Like the viscosity is lower, I think. I always get mixed up as to whether it's higher or lower. It's thicker ink. I think that means it has lower viscosity. Viscosity is how thin something is, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong there. It's been a little while since I've been in school. Um, so low viscosity, I think. Um, it's very thick ink. So I actually know... Some people who do some like dip pen calligraphy using Noodler's X Feather. So if you don't want to use a pigmented kind of calligraphy ink, X Feather can work. Um, or if you're using, um, you know, an ink on paper that's really absorbent and just, you know, doesn't handle most fountain pen inks well, X Feather could be a good option for you. I find that between Noodler's Black Heart of Darkness and X Feather, you're usually able to find one of those three that works well on your specific paper. It's really tough because like there's no one ink that it's like this doesn't feather on anything. X Feather can still feather on some papers because some are just really, really absorbent. And sometimes Heart of Darkness will do a little better than X Feather on certain ones. You kind of need to play around with them a little bit. So that's where samples can really help, can give you an idea um, without having to buy a whole huge bottle, especially because Heart of Darkness only comes in a four and a half ounce bottle. X Feather, you can get a three or four and a half ounce. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so that's really kind of the deal with X Feather. It's a little bit thicker. The trade off is it's got a longer dry time. So it, the ink kind of more sits on the page and then dries there. Um, it will absorb in. Um, still permanent and everything, so you're still getting the qualities of Noodler's Black, but the dry time is going to be a little extended, sort of like Black Eel. So if you want a black eel kind of thing, but you want something that is going to be a little bit better at kind of feathering resistance, uh, X Feather might be a good option for you. Cool.